Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two circles uh, that are tangent to each other as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the radius uh, of this uh, bigger circle is uh, 6 units along with this uh, center O whereas the radius for this uh, smaller circle is uh, 2 units uh, along with this uh, center P and moreover this uh, red band is wrapped around these uh, two circles as you can see as well and now we are going to calculate the length of this uh, red band around these two circles please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started with the solution and now let's recall the circle uh, theorem according to this theorem the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees as you can see in this diagram and here in our case uh, this is our tangent line and these are our uh, radii so no wonder these angles have got to be 90 degrees each and here's our next step let's go ahead and connect uh, these uh, centers O and uh, P as you can see in this uh, next diagram I have connected these uh, two centers and now let's recall a crucial fact these uh, centers O and P and this uh, point of tangency they lie on the very same line and now let's make an observation we know that this is the radius uh, of this uh, larger circle which is uh, 6 units and likewise this is the radius uh, of this smaller circle which is uh, 2 units so therefore this total distance uh, OP has got to be 6 plus 2 is going to make uh, 8 units and here's our next step we have created another auxiliary line uh, BC such that uh, BC is uh, parallel to this line OP and as a result we got this uh, parallelogram uh, OPBC then according to the definition of the parallelogram uh, this uh, distance uh, OP has got to be this uh, distance uh, BC if this is 8 units this is going to be 8 units uh, as well so therefore our this line segment BC turns out to be 8 units and furthermore uh, this uh, distance uh, PB is going to be equal to this uh, distance OC if this is 2 units uh, this OC distance has got to be 2 units as well so no wonder our OC distance is 2 units and now we know that this radius uh, AO is uh, 6 uh, units and this uh, distance uh, OC is uh, 2 units so therefore our this distance uh, CA has got to be 6 minus 2 is going to give us uh, 4 units so therefore our this distance uh, CA turns out to be 4 units and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right angle uh, ABC now let's go ahead and make an observation this uh, hypotenuse BC is our longest uh, leg since this is opposite to our largest angle uh, 90 degrees whereas uh, this is our smallest leg and here I have copied down this uh, right triangle uh, ABC where this side AC is our smallest leg whereas this uh, side uh, BC is our longest leg then always remember if uh, this uh, largest leg is twice as this uh, smallest leg then this uh, smallest angle uh, ABC is going to be 30 degrees and this angle uh, ACB is going to be 60 degrees so therefore our this uh, angle uh, ABC turns out to be 30 degrees and this angle uh, ACB turns out to be 60 degrees and furthermore if this side length is A this is a 2 times A then this third leg has got to be A times a square root of 3 and now we know that our A equals to 4 so therefore this side length has got to be 4 times a square root of 3 so therefore our this uh, side length uh, AB has got to be 4 times square root of 3 and here's our alternative method if I call uh, this angle uh, ABC as uh, theta and now let's recall this uh, SOCATOA and we are going to use sine theta equal to opposite uh, 
divided by hypotenuse and in our case our opposite side is 4 units whereas our hypotenuse is 8 so therefore our sine of theta angle has got to be 4 divided by 8 or if we simplify this thing sine of theta is going to be 1 over 2 or theta is going to be equal to sine inverse of 1 divided by 2 and if we use the calculators our theta angle has got to be 30 degrees so no wonder our this angle theta has got to be 30 degrees and once we figured out this uh, 30 degrees this one we know 90 degrees this angle has got to be 60 degrees since the sum of the angles must be 180 degrees and one more thing if you are not sure how we got this uh, 4 times square root of 3 we could use the Pythagorean theorem as an alternative method and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg as our side c I'm gonna call this side a and this side b now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula a side is unknown so I'm gonna put down a square b in our case is a 4 square equal to c in our case is a 8 square now let's go ahead and subtract 16 from both sides so a square turns out to be 48 let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides so a turns out to be equal to 4 times the square root of 3 and here I have simplified square root of 48 turns out to be 4 times square root of 3 so no wonder our this length a b turns out to be 4 times uh, square root of 3 and now we can see that this uh, angle a b c is 30 degrees this whole angle is 90 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be 60 degrees and now let's apply the definition of a parallelogram this angle plus this angle must be 180 degrees if this angle is 60 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be 120 degrees and now let's focus on this angle which is 60 degrees this angle and this angle they are congruent since they are corresponding angles if this angle is 60 degrees this angle has got to be 60 degrees as well and here's our next step as you can see we have drawn these radii OD and PE then according to the circles theorem this angle has got to be 90 degrees and this angle is 90 degrees as well this radius is 6 and this radius is 2 and if we use the property of symmetry and use the same analogy then this side DE has got to be this same length as AB so this has got to be 4 times square root of 3 so therefore our length DE turns out to be 4 times square root of 3 and now we can see that this angle is congruent to this angle if this is a 60 degrees this angle has got to be 60 degrees as well and likewise this angle is congruent to this angle if this is 120 degrees this angle has got to be 120 degrees as well and now we know that this whole angle is 300 and 60 degrees we know these are our 60 degrees and 60 degrees angles so therefore our this angle has got to be 240 degrees and likewise let's focus on this uh, smaller circle this uh, whole angle is 360 degrees and we know that this angle is 120 degrees and this angle is 120 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be 120 degrees as well and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, AD is our major arc along with this angle 240 degrees and likewise uh, this uh, BE is our minor arc along with this uh, 120 degree angle so therefore we can see according to this equation the red band length around these two circles equal to this major arc length AD plus this minor arc length EB plus this distance AB 
and finally this distance uh, d e and now we know that our a b distance is 4 times square root of 3 and likewise our distance uh, d e is uh, 4 times square root of 3 so therefore we need to calculate this uh, major arc and this uh, minor arc uh, as well now let's recall the sector circumference formula theta divided by 360 degrees times 2 pi r and for this uh, major arc length uh, ad our angle is 240 degrees and our radius is uh, 6 so therefore i can write uh, 240 degrees divided by 360 degrees times 2 pi and r in our case is 6 plus for this minor arc length ab our this angle is 120 degrees and our radius is 2 so therefore i can write 120 degrees divided by 360 degrees times 2 pi times our radius uh, is uh, 2 plus uh, for this uh, a b length uh, is uh, 4 times uh, square root of uh, 3 plus uh, finally 4 times uh, square root of 3 as well now let's go ahead and simplify everything so that is going to reduce to 2 divided by 3 times 12 pi and then plus this is going to give us one third times 4 pi and then plus we are going to combine these one that is going to give us a times square root of 3 so if we simplify furthermore that is going to give us 8 pi plus 4 pi divided by 3 plus a times square root of 3 now let's go ahead and add these two ones by just looking at over here if we add them that comes out to be 28 pi divided by 3 and then plus a times square root of 3 and this is the length of this red band so thus here's our red band length and this is approximately equal to 43.18 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.